<laughs> so uh, Zagan, he is nine or ten years old. We haven't gotten that confirmed yet. And he's in the youth final. And this is Arvid, he's 12 years old. I, I will check. Yes, it's less. Okay, so he is 10 years old, I verified that, and I asked how long he's been playing pinball, and his dad said that he's been playing since he has been able to stand, basically. So, I, I, okay. so this is their 30 second warm up. <laughs> And this is uh, Monster Bash LE, the remake from Chicago Gaming. Beautiful machine. And this is Arvid, 12 years old. Um, he's been around for a few years and been playing really well for a few years. So, which is pretty impressive. He has some really high results uh, in Bros Pinball Open one year. I think he got fourth uh, out of you know 100 something players. And at Dutch Pinball Open or something like that, or German Pinball Open, he also placed very high. Uh, and Arvid is a local player, he lives here in Lund. Uh, although a lot of these games are not local, uh, this particular one, Monster Bash, is local from the place here in Lund. Men kick out den här inte så snabbt eller vad fan? Ja, jag har inte kört det själv. Ja, man kunde inte sitta över den, den var lite vild. Ja. Jag vet inte. Was there... Oh, the ball was in there. We have a, a crop of, um, we have Vigo, another player um, from Lund here who plays a lot and he's also a really good player. Um, he qualified out of uh, 300 players, he qualified in the top 64. So we'll see what kind of strategies they do. Yeah, he, he seems to play very calm and collected. Nice patience. The dead bounce. Gets a little bit of progress on Frankenstein, or sorry, Frankenstein's monster. Since Frankenstein's a scientist. We have Pedden. We'll see what the scoop kick out. So, general strategy on the machine. Oh, that's unfortunate. He had the flipper on there, but didn't quite get it. Um, to start modes around the play field, um, if you start a multi ball with the modes, uh, the timer stops. The timer stop. Um, so then you get sort of double pay for um, the monsters. Ooh. Uh, that is a uh, common strategy as well on this machine, is to uh, only shoot creature all day. Uh, but this kickout seems a little squirrely, so I don't think we'll see that. Uh, but yeah, some players just shoot creature. Whoa, such reflexes. <laughs> Youth youthful reflexes. Uh, you also have, there's also a multi-ball, if you shoot the spinner up the middle, I think it's six shots. Um, you get a multi-ball once you've played all of the creature modes, around, or the monster modes or whatever, around the playfield. Next 
progress, so... I don't <laughs> uh, So the modes are four shots to start them. You have a creature from the Black Lagoon on the far left, uh, and then you have the Orbits, uh, Wolfman, uh, Bride of Frankenstein, technically that should be Bride of Frankenstein's monster, uh, is the ramps, and uh, Frankenstein's monster you have up the middle there, uh, you collect all the pieces of the body and that, that opens up. Um, did I miss, oh, Dracula, and, oh, you have Dracula and you have uh, Mummy, and Dracula you light in the stand-up targets on the right, and start in the scoop. Mummy, you light um, in the pops, and then start in the scoop. So up, uh, you don't care. at least a couple of modes coming into multi-ball, but if needed on ball three, you can obviously, depending on what you need, you can collect the multi-ball and go from there. I wish I had these pinball skills at 10. I don't think I knew what a pinball machine was at 10. Nice. <laughs> yeah, tip passes, that's, that's great. Uh, half ramp, that's dangerous. As it goes up, it's into the sling. Gets control. Such patient play, this is incredible. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's starting. Okay, now is he gonna do uh, yeah, one more ramp? Oh, missed it. Oh, oh, that was interesting. Well, was he starting? Maybe starting, deciding to start the multi ball after all. Let's see what he chooses to do here. Yeah, uh, he takes the multi ball. Yep. Points in the hand, and if, if you play it well, if you if you play it well uh, with the super jackpots and things like that, like, it can be very valuable. Still, uh, you get a lot of incidental points, uh, and the super jackpot on Frankenstein just didn't register there. Um, oh, my stream just froze. Oh, I don't know. So it's only hundreds of thousands of points unless you shoot Frankenstein, whereas if you have modes going, you get more points around the playfield. There's a super. A double super, yeah. Choppy there a couple times. I don't know if you guys saw that as well. Oh, so Frankenstein monster is open. He has Dracula lit as well in the scoop. Uh, now he has um, Wolfman going. Oh. But, so for the last ball, if he can get it into the scoop... Yeah, but... But Drake... Drake is in the middle, in the middle. Yeah, yeah. In the middle. But you must have a hole in the middle, so you can shoot it. And you can take the multi-ball. Yeah, yeah. I have a hole in the middle. Yeah, I have a hole in the middle. Yeah, the Mall Nerd Podcast. This is a great game. Great match. <laughs> All right, so this is a deciding game. This is their fifth game, so the score is 2-2. Two, two. Uh, 
during practice? <laughs> wow, Arvid is relieved. We'll see if he can uh, capitalize on that. <laughs> now he, he has two modes lit in the scoop, but I, yeah, he takes the multi wall. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <Some> drama there. <laughs> he tilted, he started multi ball and tilted. <laughs> wow. Ivan. Ivan. So, what are the 